Dinosaurs, those colossal creatures that once ruled our planet, have never ceased to amaze us. They ignite our imaginations and transport us to a long-lost world. And among these magnificent beasts, there's one that has puzzled scientists and dino enthusiasts alike. The Irritator Dinosaur. Recently a new discovery about the Irritator was made and it is all about its spectacular mouth. Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey through time as we uncover the secrets of this enigmatic creature. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any exciting updates about incredible archaeological discoveries. Trust us, you won't want to miss a thing. Now, let's dive into the world of the Irritator, a fascinating dinosaur from the fossil-rich lands of Brazil. Discovered in the early 1990s, this peculiar creature has captured the attention of paleontologists, who have been tirelessly unraveling its mysteries ever since. In this video, we'll shed light on various aspects of the Irritator's existence. We'll delve into its physical traits, like its size, skeletal structure, and those unique features that set it apart from other dinosaurs. And get ready for a mind-blowing revelation, we'll share an incredible trait of the Irritator that has never been seen in any other dinosaur before. But let's rewind a bit and explore the story behind the Irritator's discovery. It all started when fossil hunters stumbled upon a partial skull of a theropod dinosaur in Brazil's Santana Formation. However, this skull had been through quite a journey. It was heavily damaged and even had its snout artificially elongated during the fossil preparation process. This led to the name Irritator, a playful nod to the frustration it caused among paleontologists. There is another exciting twist to its name. The Irritator's full name is Irritator Challengeri, inspired by the fictional character Professor Challenger from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's novel The Lost World. Professor Challenger was a brilliant and eccentric scientist who embarked on daring expeditions to prove the existence of prehistoric creatures. By associating the Irritator with Challenger, scientists pay tribute to the spirit of exploration and the challenges they face during their study. Numerous scientists, like the talented paleontologist Martinez Cura, have played crucial roles in unraveling the secrets of the Irritator. Their extensive research on its anatomy and phylogeny has expanded our understanding of this captivating creature. And let's not forget the contributions of Brazilian paleontologist Alexander Kellner and his team, who have shed light on the unique fauna found in the Santana Formation, including the Irritator. Together, these scientists have paved the way for a deeper understanding of this remarkable dinosaur. Now, let's talk about the Irritator's physical attributes, leading up to the new discovery made about its unique mouth. It belonged to the family Spinosauridae, and it had a slender body, sharp claws, and a semi-aquatic lifestyle. But what truly sets it apart is the narrow, elongated crest on top of its head. The Irritator shared some similarities with other Spinosaurid dinosaurs, such as Spinosaurus and Suchomimus. They had long snouts, robust bodies, and adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. But that crest? It's the Irritator's fashion statement, making it truly one of a kind. Now, let's travel back to the time when the Irritator roamed the Earth. The environment was a far cry from what we know today. Warm and tropical, with sprawling river systems and lush vegetation, it was a paradise for all sorts of organisms, including our enigmatic Irritator. Based on fossil evidence, the Irritator was a real estate pro and made its home in both land and water. It loved hanging out near bodies of water like rivers, lakes, and lagoons. With its streamlined body and powerful limbs, it was like an Olympic athlete, capable of tearing it up in both the water and on land. As a top predator, the Irritator had an important role in the prehistoric food chain. It was a real fish aficionado, chowing down on those aquatic delights. With its long snout, sharp teeth, and sleek body, it was a fish-catching machine. Imagine it using its powerful jaws and claws to snatch its fin meals, just like a modern-day crocodile. That's some serious hunting skills right there. But let's not forget about its signature style, the elongated and narrow crest on its skull. This feature extended from its snout all the way to the back of its head, giving it a truly unique look. This stylish crest was formed by extensions of the nasal bones, giving it that elongated shape. Now, what's the purpose of this cool crest? Scientists have been scratching their heads over this one. Some think it was a fashion statement, used to attract mates or show off its dominance. Others believe it could have been a communication tool, maybe through sounds or visual signals. And get this, there's even a wild theory that the crest had some hydrodynamic function, helping the irritator swim like a boss or enhancing its sensory perception. Talk about a dino with style and functionality. 
The discovery of the irritator has been a game changer for our understanding of dinosaurs in South America, especially in Brazil. It has shown us just how diverse and awesome the dino population was in this part of the world. This discovery highlights the importance of keeping those scientific exploration vibes going and uncovering more about South America's unique dino heritage. But hey, studying the irritator hasn't been a walk in the park. The poor fossil skull got banged up a bit during its excavation, making it a challenge for scientists to figure out its true shape. And with limited fossils available, piecing together the complete anatomy and behavior of this creature has been no easy feat. But that's what makes paleontology so exciting, right? It's like solving a prehistoric puzzle. As with any scientific discovery, there are always debates and discussions. Scientists have been buzzing about the irritator's classification and its exact place in the dinosaur family tree. Some aspects of its behavior, like its hunting strategies or social life, are still up for debate and open to ongoing research. So, there's plenty of dino mysteries to unravel. The journey doesn't end here, my dino-loving friends. Research on the irritator is ongoing, and there are still so many unanswered questions. Paleontologists are constantly hunting for new fossils and analyzing existing data to unlock more secrets about its biology, role in the ecosystem, and evolutionary significance. Who knows what new discoveries and fancy technology will reveal about this captivating creature. Recently scientists have made an awesome discovery about the irritator that totally blew their minds. They used fancy techniques like CT scans to reconstruct its skull and found some seriously cool stuff. Here's the scoop, the irritator had a super unique snout angle. It held its snout at a 45 degree angle, giving it an epic view of its surroundings. Talk about having a front row seat. No obstacles or long muzzles blocking its vision. It was like having a built-in 3D movie experience. But the real stunner is this, the irritator had a biting mechanism like no other dino. When it opened its mouth, its lower jaws extended outward, widening its throat, thanks to the jaw joint setup. It was a bit of a weak bite, but boy was it quick. So, what does all this mean for the irritator's dining habits? Well, it turns out this dino was all about speed and precision. With its lightning-fast jaw movements, it could snatch up and seriously injure small prey like fish. It was a real specialist when it came to gobbling up those aquatic creatures in one gulp. Imagine having a mouth like a pelican. So that is the big reveal of the new research, the irritator was a, a dinosaur with a pelican-like mouth. The irritator's unique anatomy gives us a glimpse into its hunting style and diet. Its ability to adapt to its environment and specialize in specific food sources shows just how diverse and incredible dinosaurs were. It's like they were the original foodies of the prehistoric world. This discovery is just the tip of the iceberg. By digging deeper and analyzing more fossils, we'll unlock even more secrets about the irritator and its place in the ancient ecosystem. The dino world is full of surprises, and we're lucky to be uncovering them one fossil at a time. The irritator is a fantastic reminder of why dinosaurs are so fascinating. They spark our imagination and give us a glimpse into the wild world of the past. By studying and exploring dinosaurs like the Irritator, we get a better understanding of our planet's history and the incredible diversity that once roamed the Earth. So, keep your eyes peeled and your curiosity high, because there's always more to discover in the amazing world of dinosaurs.